Talk about an unsolved murder. A father of three killed in what's been called a state of emergency in Southeast DC. A vigil in his memory turned tense with the man's mother saying his killer could very well be among that crowd. And Mike Valerio saw it all unfold. It started with a ceremony centuries old. Music to remember ancestors and their stories from Africa. Recalling their legacies so they won't be forgotten. Who have passed away this weekend? I say, I say, I say, oh. The prayers here are for Alex Mosby, a father of three shot dead in Southeast Memorial Day weekend. I want to see action. You will. And we, and I don't want talk. I just lost a husband. Peace at the vigil descended into dismay. Mosby's mother unable to bear what happened. Crowd of people up there with my son got killed. I want justice. The killer is still out there, and the victim's mother said the murderer could be among them. You hated my son. You killed my son. You did it on purpose. If you were trying to kill the other person, if you were trying to kill the other person, you would have. My son was standing there. There was no healing here tonight. Unbridled anger after 11 people were shot in one weekend. Mosby's mother told us all what needs to change. You can't be out all night at a cookout drinking and drugging. It's time to take a hold of the situation. It's got to start at the home level. That's where it's got to start. Unbelievably tons right there, Leslie, and worth noting there is a $25,000 reward for any re arrest that can help in this case, and on our website is certainly a way to help sending in any anonymous tips. You know, you we know just happened. saw there is a mother reacting to losing the most important person in her world, and that's something we shouldn't forget. We right. see these, we hear these statistics. When a life is taken, that's a whole soul right. from a whole community. It was just unbridled, visceral, anger and she knew you heard in that sound bite when she was accusing somebody in the crowd of either doing it or knowing what happened. I mean, can you imagine if you were in her shoes and just that anger unleashed right there? So our hearts certainly with her tonight. There's some frustration though, and you can hear it in her voice because we know in cases like this, sometimes police have a hard time getting people to come forward. So I right. suppose the ask would be if you know something, say something so that this family can get some kind of closure. And especially, you know, if you were at that vigil and you know something, come on, just say something and go to our website. That is certainly where there is a link to MPD where you can send in any anonymous tips I to end the case. I come in and they come in soon. Mike, yep. thanks. You bet.